Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wasserman, and today we're going to uh, take a moment to explore the concepts of volume, specifically using metric units to measure volume. Okay, uh, The metric system is uh, based on uh, groups of 10, uh, and unlike uh, the United States, the rest of the world has already adopted the metric system. Um, there are two units of measure when we uh, measure volume uh, in the metric system. Uh, liters and milliliters. Now, before I get any further, maybe we should talk about what volume is. Volume is the measure of how much space a solid object takes up. Volume is often measured in liquid units, such as liters or cubic units, like cubic centimeters, or cubic inches. The volume or capacity of a container is measured uh, by how much the container will hold. Okay? So this container right here, this is a graduated cylinder, and it is uh, measured out to hold at least one liter of liquid, as is this container right here, which is full of water. So the idea is that I should be able to transfer the contents of this liter of water into this container, and the measure should be the same, okay, which it is, okay. This container held 1,000 milliliters, which is the equivalent of one liter. Okay. Now, you've probably heard that term liter before, uh, especially when you're out in the grocery store asking your parents to buy you some soda pop. Okay, A two liter is a container that is often uh, used to package soda. Okay, This two liter used to hold root beer, I think. Okay, Now, we see the term milliliter a lot in packaging because, like I said, the United States is the only country in the world anymore that doesn't use the metric system. We use what we call customary units, uh, which we adopted from England hundreds of years ago, back when the United States was just a series of colonies. This unit of the water bottle is 500 milliliters, or half of a liter, okay, which is the equivalent of 16.9 fluent ounces, or one and five hundredths of a pint. Okay? But when we talk about volume, uh, and we explore the concept of the volume, we, we sometimes can get a little confused because uh, linear measurement is easy to compare. But like when I look at these two objects, for example, these two containers, you'd hardly think that these two would hold the same amount. Okay, this one's much skinnier, okay? But this uh, container, which I think once upon a time held a protein shake from like Bolt Out's Farms or something, was labeled to hold one meter. So even though it's a lot skinnier, especially at the base, when I transfer the contents of this graduated cylinder that holds one liter of liquid, it should just about, there we go, fill it up to the brim. When I screw on the cap, I now have one liter of liquid in this container with a little air bubble right there, okay? So that's the standard unit of liquid volume in the metric system, one liter. But what about this milliliter business? Well, if uh, you have little brothers and sisters at home, you probably are familiar with these, or maybe you still uh, had, have seen this uh, used for yourself. This is what we call a oral syringe. Oral syringes are usually given with liquid medicines like Tylenol or uh, amoxicillin. Okay. Uh, these uh, oral syringes are great for measuring out tiny units of volume. Uh, sometimes they're labeled with teaspoons, which is again is the uh, uh, customary units that we Americans still stubbornly cling to, and they're also measured out in milliliters. Okay, so if I wanted to measure out a milliliter, what I would do is I would take this syringe and I would just uh, submerge it into this uh, container a little bit and draw on the plunger like so. I drew out about three milliliters, and I'm going to return some of that volume back into the container until I get exactly one milliliter. That, that rubber gasket at the top of the plunger of my syringe, I'm going to line it up with that hash mark that's marked by the one. Okay, That is one milliliter of liquid. That's hardly enough. It's uh, not even a mouthful of spit, right? Okay. Matter of fact, if I were to expel this liquid onto this paper towel, like so, 
it's not enough liquid to really soak through the paper towel because if I lift that up the surface of my desk is still relatively dry so one milliliter really isn't a lot so you might be thinking to yourself well why should we worry about a milliliter that seems like such a tiny amount well these oral syringes like I said are usually used to measure medicine medicine is a very exact science if you receive too much medicine that can make you sick if you get too little of a dose of medicine it won't be as effective and it won't be very useful so milliliters can be important in certain instances okay and that my friends is the difference between the tiniest unit of measurement the milliliter and the standard unit of measurement the liter now one last thing as you can see there's even some hash marks along this uh, the syringe that allows you to do fractions of a milliliter now I don't know if you would ever need to get a fraction of a milliliter uh, to be that exact but if you wanted to measure that little amount you could do so it's just uh, this is about two tenths of a milliliter and I think that's basically just a few drops total okay and that my friend is a quick overview about volume liquid volume measured in metric units this is a uh, uh, introduced to you now during our uh, multiplication unit uh, because it's used as an analogy for uh, multiplying uh, large numbers or converting uh, between large digits okay if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or your math teacher about volume, metric units, or anything math related. Otherwise, we'll have, we'll have a good day. Thanks.